Americans have always loved the great outdoors, and one of the companies that helps people get outside is Academy Sports, the Texas company that uh, was founded, what, in 1938. President and CEO Ken Hicks uh, joins us now from Academy Sports, the outdoors chairman as well. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, when I was at your website, it made me miss living in the suburbs because I saw a huge barbecue grill. And I thought what I'd see is just sporting goods. And I saw that huge grill and I thought, yeah, that's one reason to go back to the burbs. Is that a big seller? It, our outdoor cooking is huge. In fact, uh, we uh, I just uh, helped a customer in Staten Island get one of our uh, outdoor fire pits for his uh, patio. So we can we, help we, you. We have a terrace here in Manhattan, but I don't think the fire department would like me putting on that huge grill, although I would want it very badly. Let me ask you this. Um, the company was founded on, you know, making fun for all. And right. in COVID, a lot of us have had to actually buy sporting gear that we would use just to stay in shape. We bought some dumbbells here in this household. Uh, but what are you seeing? And, and do you expect this to continue going forward? The, the fastest growing categories are just getting outdoors, things like fishing. The number of people who've taken up fishing is, is huge, or bicycling, uh, putting in a home gym as you did and buying dumbbell, dumbbells or a exercise bike, taking up hiking. And, you know, some of those treadmills will become very expensive coat hangers in a, a few months. But I think for the most part, a lot of those people are going to continue you know, doing some of these things that are fun. They've got new hobbies and new things that they enjoy. 259 stores, 16 different states. Do people tend to buy the same things or do you find, depending on the region, different kinds of things are popular? Uh, it varies by region. In fact, one of the things that we've gone through is in turning around the business is what we call localization. And we find, for example, sports, You've got football in Texas. You've got lacrosse in, uh, you know, the Carolinas. Different kind of fishing and and the bait that people use. Uh, Soccer is much bigger in the Midwest. Uh, you know, so one of the things that we've had to learn as we've grown is what each community wants, so we can localize to that community. Should point out that in the last twelve months, you have exceeded what five billion in sales. Um, Pretty impressive, and especially at a time when everyone's staying home. And this is a difficult business, is it not? Because we saw Models here in New York City and in other states. It went out of business. How do you how do you keep going? Well, one of the things is what you talked about, the assortment that we have. We're, we're all about uh, the assortment, the value, and the experience, both in the store and what you do with the stuff when you buy it. So, uh, you know, as you saw when you went online, we're not just sporting goods. We have so much more. Uh, and that's what really drives the customer and the family to our store. And then, you know, in your earnings report, which is just out, net sales, uh, $1.35 billion, but comparable sales up 16.5%. Can you sustain that once we all do get back to uh, some form of pre-pandemic life? Uh, <laughs> that'd be nice if we could. But... I think there'll be some settling, but we were performing well before COVID and we had a good business before COVID and we would anticipate after COVID that things would hopefully get back to normal. But we had we were running, you know, very uh, substantial positive comps prior to COVID and uh, think that that will continue, particularly as more people have taken up taken up these uh, new hobbies and habits uh, like fishing, camping, uh, you know, outdoor grilling. I would like to take up the outdoor grilling habit again here in New York City. One last question for you. Um, would sure. you expand, uh, you know, uh, you've had a, a good year so far. Is there growth for you in the future through expansion? Yes, we're, we're looking both to expand within our market, but also beyond our market. Many of the uh, cities that we're in, we only have a couple of stores uh, in some of the some of the areas. But even beyond that, there are a lot of markets that uh, would be very attractive for us. So, uh, you know, I, I think that in the future we will continue to grow and hopefully we'll be able to sell you that grill directly.
<laughs> you can pick it up in I promise you, if there's ever a suburb in my future, I'm buying it. Ken Hicks <laughs> is the CEO uh, and president at Academy Sports. All the best to you, sir, and thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good holiday. You as well.